Today I'm going to show you how to install Manjaro 18 on VirtualBox. Manjaro is a Linux distribution that is based on Arch Linux and it's a very nice and very uh, modern Linux distribution. So if you want to check it out, it's very easy to do so by using VirtualBox. You should already have VirtualBox installed when you want to follow along with this video. Just go to virtualbox.org and download VirtualBox and install it. It's very easy to do. I don't need to do a walkthrough for you. Just leave everything as default and then go ahead and download Manjaro and you can click on just go to manjaro.org and click on choose edition and download and then you need to scroll a little bit down here and you can see they have a couple of different uh, desktop environments to offer here so you can choose whatever you like if you already have a preference uh, if you like xfce better or whatever but if you're beginning i would uh, recommend you to download KDE. It's, in my opinion at least, the, the most beautiful uh, desktop environment for Manjaro. So click on that. We use it in this example. Go down more and it's only available in 64-bit. So download this and once it is downloaded we are going to continue with VirtualBox. Alright, once the file is downloaded open up VirtualBox and click on New type in whatever name you want i'll obviously type in manjaro then select type linux and version is arch linux 64 bit and then you can either leave the machine folder which is the folder where the virtual machine hard disk will reside you can leave it on default or if you want to change it change it I'm, i have a dedicated drive for my vm so i'm gonna just put it there you're fine leaving it as default if you don't know where to put it or choose a hard drive where you have enough space left. Click on next. Allocated some memory, two gigabytes is minimum and I'll just give it eight because I have plenty of memory installed. Click on next. Choose create a virtual hard disk now. Click on create. Leave it as VDI for virtual box disk image. Click next. Then choose dynamically, dynamically allocated. <laughs> I'll get to that in a second. Click next then uh, this is again you could you could change the size um, I mean the uh, location of your hard drive file and separate that but you don't need to do it just leave it it's it comes into the folder that you assigned in the previous step basically then give it some memory because I'm gonna use that distribution probably for some testing I'll give it 100 gigabytes but uh, you can go with I think 15 is fine 20 is fine so and what dynamically allocated means is that let's take the example of 100 gigabytes here and that um, if I install it now and let's say it takes up 8 gigabytes of, uh, of hard drive space then only 8 gigabyte will be taken from my uh, physical hard drive and not the full 100. It will fill up to a maximum of 100 gigabytes in the end but it will not reserve all that uh, disk space from your hard drive. So that's very convenient. If you choose fixed size, that's a tiny bit uh, more performance there, but I think on modern systems, you hardly will recognize the difference. So let's choose something, whatever you want. Just shoot for 20 gigabytes if you don't know what to choose. Click on create. Now we created the machine and we go on with the settings. So I previ previously installed Manjaro. This is the uh, newest version of VirtualBox and usually um, you don't need to install the VirtualBox guest editions on Manjaro because it's pre-installed pre -installed and working from scratch. But um, when you click on settings here and you go to display, then in the newest version of VirtualBox here is as graphics controller is this VMS VGA is um, is pre-checked or, or pre-chosen here and I tried that with this and it didn't actually work my guest editions I couldn't get them to work properly so change this first to VBOX VGA when you do that it will work automatically then you can also go ahead and enable 3D acceleration it's not a necessity but I usually just enable it and uh, let's go back to the system tab here and make sure your memory allocated that we did uh, earlier is fine and click on processor and give it at least two 
cores uh, or two uh, virtual processors. I'll go for four because I also have plenty there. You don't need to enable those uh, options. That's for if you're using a 32-bit uh, OS and for some extended security features and also if you want to run another virtual machine inside of this virtual machine which you don't need. Click on acceleration, make sure this is both checked and then go to network and up to personal preference. If you don't know what to do, just leave it on net. That's perfectly fine. I'll always change mine or depending on the purpose that I'm using it, I change it to bridged adapter, which basically means it's, uh, it acts like it's directly connected to your local network. Hence, it's getting an IP address from your local router. Okay, so let's double check that. Everything looks fine. Click on OK and click on Start. When you get prompted to select the startup disk, choose the downloaded ISO file from Manjaro that you have downloaded earlier. Click on Open. Click on Start. And in a second, it will start up. Alright, then you want to choose Boot. And we're gonna boot up in the live system. By the way, if you use VirtualBox for the first time and you recognize that your mouse is stuck in here, just press the right control key to release your mouse again. It's the so-called host key in VirtualBox. The same goes for any virtual machine that you run there. You can also see it on the, on the bottom here. It says STRG, which is the German translations for uh, control or CTRL. Okay, there we go, and you can see full screen is even working in the live uh, installer here, so it will also certainly work in the installed version. You can just close this welcome screen and click on install Manjaro Linux in here. Choose a language, whatever you want, click on next, choose a location if you want to, click on next. Then choose a keyboard layout. I choose German because I have a German keyboard. Then click on next. Here you want to choose erase disk and you want to make sure that the uh, virtual box hard disk is selected here that we created earlier. You can choose to encrypt your system if you want to. I don't do that because my hard drive is anyway encrypted. And there goes our installer. That's a first. Let's pull it up again. That didn't happen before. Okay, let's go through that quickly again. Always something new. German. Okay, next. Again, erase hard disk. Choose to encrypt the system if you want to. Click on uh, next. Uh, if you choose encrypt system, you will need to put a passphrase here. Okay, click next. Then choose a name. I'll use this for this example. This is your login name. This is your name. I don't know where this is going to be used. This is your computer name. I'll call it Siusec Arch. And then choose a password. And also, if you want to, you can choose a different administrator or slash root password. But if you don't have highly sensitive data, you can just choose use the same password for the administrator account. So you can then or you should then choose a safe user password if you tick this option. It's fine for if you do just creative work or whatever on this distribution and you don't have very sensitive data on there to use it like this. You can also choose login automatically without asking for password if you want. Okay, click on next. Uh, go over that again if everything looks fine and if it does click on install and click on install now. This will take uh, around about five minutes and we'll be back after that's done. Alright, once the installation is done, click on restart now and click on done. And while that's restarting, click on devices, optical drives and remove disk from virtual drive to not get into the uh, ISO boot installer again like now I was too slow. Click on force unmount and just simply go to machine and go on reset. Click on reset and the Manjaro installation that we just finished should boot up. Let's see. Should just take a couple of seconds there. And 
there we are. We can see that full screen mode is already working. And as I said before, the key was to change this display setting to VirtualBox VGA. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we already get notified that there are 310 updates available. So the first thing I recommend you to do is, of course, read through the documentation if you want to, but click on the Octopi notification down here with a right click, click on system upgrade, then confirm that you want to run the system upgrade and enter your password. Then we also get a notification that the VirtualBox Guest Editions update is available. We get to that in a second. Just click on OK. I think it actually gets updated through this update what we are running now. And confirm two times with yes. And this will take a while until it's downloaded. It's about 700 megabytes and we'll be back after that's done. And there we have it. Hit the enter key to finish the update and then I recommend you to go ahead and just reboot your machine for good measure and basically you are all set to go and try out this very very nice and beautiful distribution and uh, let me know in the comments below if you like Manjaro what are you using it for I'm really interested in uh, the use cases that you guys have for it and as always if you didn't like that video well you know what to do but also if you did like the video you also know what to do hit the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel stay tuned for new videos i release videos every week and i'll see you in the next one have fun with manjaro